to do E World, crisscross some wires. At least I won't have to be propping this bike up on a pole much longer. Because I've always had a kickstand for this bike, but uh, it got packed up along with a lot of other stuff. But uh, being as though we're doing some unpacking tomorrow, uh, we will be able to uh, put our kickstand on this thing. Uh, man, I really love this, uh, this gooseneck, as you can see. Man, I think it's a pretty heavy-duty gooseneck I have on there now. And uh, I actually love the fact now that uh, my handlebars are as they should be and I don't have a periscope up there anymore. So uh, yeah, like I told you guys, uh, this is a Garmada seat uh, from Ukraine. And uh, y'all know what's going on over in Ukraine right now. It ain't a good look. So uh, trying to get anything in and out of Ukraine at the present time is uh, a wee taste difficult. Uh, I was lucky because me and uh, my man, we put in for these seats a long time ago. And... Uh, after taking a good look at them, even before we got them, you know, we understood that uh, these seats were going to be highly sought after because uh, we know about bomber bike being bomber this and uh, bomber butt, I mean. And uh, that's one thing, they never really had a, a good moto seat for this bike. You know, the moto seat that everybody has. It doesn't look too bad, but uh, feel it doesn't feel too good. So anyway, man, this seat is night and day different. Not only that, it also uh, it also has a use as well with that pocket. You know, as far as putting your controller in there, your some extra batteries possibly or your handy dandy you know it's functional functional as i should say so uh yeah anyway we out here on the beast after we you know been working all day i figured i'd take a a little short just run around man it's cold as all get out right now so, you know, we ain't trying to go too fast or go too crazy. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I, I just love this thing, man. I mean, to be honest, I do. I, I can, you're not supposed to love material things. Like KRS one used to say for Boogie Down Productions, love gonna get you. But uh I ain't gonna front. Love got me on this one, y'all. This thing is so freaking awesome to ride. I mean it the acceleration almost feels like it's instantaneous. To be honest. I mean it is pretty instant. I mean, uh, when when I give it a little bit of, th and that's the thing, I don't have to rip that throttle like that. I mean, I, I'm I'm barely, I'm barely rotating this thing. Not only that, this domino throttle. Uh, you know, sometimes I say stuff is uh, over. Uh, you know uh overdone or just unnecessary but uh when they used to say that this domino throttle is a awesome piece of equipment there is no doubt about that it is a quality component it is leaps and bounds different from a standard regular twist throttle uh, 
the best part about this domino is that uh, you'll notice when you do the throttle tune if you if your uh, controller has a throttle tune that the voltage on this domino can go down way below the normal voltages uh, the normal voltage range for a throttle is a half a volt to 4.5 volts this domino will go down to about a quarter of a volt maybe even less not only that the ramp up is so linear and smooth i mean it's it's a smooth ramp up it's none of that uh i had a suron throttle on here before that before that i had the regular chinese throttles uh with all these amps that i'm running and all this power uh just cracking one of those throttles i mean i you know if they're not really sensitive and smooth like this domino you could just turn it a little bit and a little bit would almost give you whiplash because you're going from uh, a half a volt to maybe a volt in just a little bit of a turn but this domino the voltage range is so awesome and you know it's and gradual and smooth man this this throttle is 100 percent the best throttle they have is make no mistake about that it's night and day difference if i didn't have this throttle there's no way i could you know just barely give it some throttle you know it, it would just be like on and off on and off especially with the uh watts dialed up like they are now even with this massive amount of watts i can just you see how little bit of throttle i can give it and i mean just barely just barely but uh i wouldn't be able to do that with any other throttle any other throttle it was it would be like instant hauling ass and uh you don't want that when you got this type of power but uh anyway i ain't gonna talk you guys to death man like i say this thing this thing is a beast all the way around and uh i love this bike man if that same dude that bought my first build would have been trying to buy this bike he he wouldn't have got it man he would have really had he would have had to dig in his pocket deeper than he did This bike is next level. And I ain't gonna mash it. I'm not gonna mash it. I'm just gonna cruise. I mean that whole time I was I was barely giving this thing any throttle. I mean just barely. And uh we was cruising along at whatever speed I wasn't even looking, but uh you know the normal traffic speed just cracking this throttle. I said it's always easy to tell 
if I'm how much throttle I'm giving it. All you got to do is look over here. If that thing ain't all the way around uh, 5 or 6 o'clock, I ain't giving it a lot of throttle. I mean, honestly, it feels like I'm on a Tron bike. I mean, it's like the... I get that much power instantly to propel me along. It's... it's I just can't describe how it feels, man. And, uh... I know it's not quite that much but maybe it maybe the feeling or the g-force is the same as far as the power to weight ratio now i think of back to when i had my ninja 600 and how the acceleration was on that thing and i can tell you honestly man uh probably from about zero to 40 or 50 you know it feels about the same now only when you get above that speed you know getting up to the the end of my speed range is uh when the acceleration or the g's uh you know minimize but man from from 10 miles an hour up to 50 i mean it it feels like a ninja 600 just how much acceleration this thing got but it's it's a whole lot smoother and i mean the the sensation of speed is just mind-blowing and the fact that it's not making a ton of noise when it does it is it it even amplifies the experience I mean, it, it, it almost feels like a video game. I mean, it's, all, it's, it's like sim racing on the bike, to be honest. That's just, that's just how this acceleration feels. All right, man, it's cold. I got to get my ass on in the house. I just wanted to take a quick ride because it always makes me feel good. And that's what it's about when I jump on this thing about feeling good. This is the, the closest that I can get to a nut without a female. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's about the best I can describe that. Alright y'all, deuces, we up out, peace!